This is my backyard trail system, which is tons of fun and consists of drops, jumps, and even a pump track. Okay, not really. Actually, the only thing in my trail system is a pretty terrible wooden jump that I named Napoleon Dynamite because of how awkward it is, just like the movie. You got it. Nice. Oh. But today, Ants and I are going to change that by making a whole new trail and jump. First things first was to clear out a whole new trail. This was a super easy process because most of the ground in my backyard is just dead pine needles and really dry dirt. I kind of wish my soil was super rocky because for some reason I really enjoy super techy stuff that breaks my bike. Anyway, with two people, clearing out the trail only took about a half an hour. We tried to make this trail really wide and smooth, unlike my other trail, because the jump we were planning to put in it. We then made a quick trip to Home Depot to pick up some wood for the jump. Really all we needed were four 8-foot 2x4s for the frame. Once back at the house, we moved everything into my dad's shop to begin working on the jump. For all the safety people watching this, my dad is a carpenter, so I know how to safely operate all of these tools. By the way, what kind of jump are we building? And then after we cut those, we'll, fit, we'll do two one and a half foot sections. I wanted to make something simple and cheap, so I decided on a kicker ramp of sorts. First, we cut three different size sections of 2x4, one at 2.5 feet, the second at 2 feet, and the third at a foot and a half. These three sections would be the slope of our jump, which we made by angling the pieces the way we wanted it, then screwing it into place with two 1 and 3 quarter inch screws. This design could have easily been made better by cutting angles on the 2x4s with the chop saw, but we were trying to save time, especially because it was getting stormy outside. After putting together the first angled section, we repeated the process again to make the second section. With the angled part of the jump set, we put them together by screwing a 1.5 foot 2x4 on the front and back end of the jump. Next, we cut two 3 foot sections of 2x4 on the chop saw for the main supports of the jump. The, uh, the, we made, the supports we, are here, but look at how steep that is. Yeah, you kind of got to get out. Let's. This thing is. Uh, what? With the frame complete, this kicker ramp was really starting to take shape, and it was way bigger than we imagined. But before we could ride it, we had to put the actual planks on. For the slats we used cedar fence planks. This was a good option because the cedar planks are really cheap and are rough cut which means they grip bike tires super well. I also cut two of the planks in half on the table saw so we could put them where the jump curves up to make a more smooth transition. To secure the planks we actually used one and a quarter inch nails. While these don't last as long as screws, they're a lot cheaper than actually using 60 screws. With that, the jump was complete. All we had to do now was set it up on the trail and ride it. 
To make the jump fit well, we dug into the ground quite a bit where the beginning would sit, and then building some dirt up to the lip. This would make the transition between the trail and the jump really smooth. Anson built up the landing on the jump with extra dirt, and though it was super loose and not very suited for a landing, we figured it would work as a temporary solution. With the jump in place, there was only one thing left to do. All right. That, that felt pretty good. The transition was really nice. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay. Here we go. This jump felt so good. It was smooth, fast, and addicting. After I had ridden it a couple times, Anson was ready to give it a shot. Oh man. Dude, you got it. Oh man. Dude, you got it. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. <laughs> what the heck? It's so fun. The landing's hard as heck. I'll try to do a bit of a trick here. Like twisting the front wheel or something. Here we go. You gotta know when to not push your luck. This is pushing my luck. Oh, right. <laughs> yep. Here we go. You gotta know when to not push your luck. This is pushing my luck. I'm just gonna take a minute here. Yeah. yeah, I went nose first and I'm not sure what happened after that. Well, other than that wipeout, nothing really went wrong with this epic kicker ramp. Both Ants and I were so happy how it turned out. After some careful thinking, I dubbed the jump El Guapo, and if you don't know what that means, look it up. Or just watch the three amigos. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for watching this. I really hope you enjoyed it because it was my first backyard trail video. This jump is amazing, and I've already decided to name it El Guapo. If you don't know who that is, go watch the three amigos. If you have any ideas for names of this trail system or the trail that we just made uh let me know in the comments below please leave a like and consider subscribing because it really does help and if you want to see more of these videos so yeah again thank you for watching and i will see you next time on two heights Woo!